Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video at the Pharmacist Academy! Woo! Hey, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year to you all. I hope that 2021 is full of joy, happiness, good health, accomplishments, and a lot of growth. Now, in this video, I will be discussing sodium chloride equivalent, and then we will dive into some practice questions. Now, I uploaded a video about tonicity, and I recommend that you watch that video first. It's going to give you a good foundation to help you understand sodium chloride equivalents much easier. Now, sodium chloride equivalent, also known as the E value of a drug, is the amount of sodium chloride that is equivalent to one gram of the drug. So I have an example here. E value of drug A is 0.5. 50 grams so what this means is that for every one gram of drug a that you have it's going to have the same osmolality or tonicity as 0.50 grams of sodium chloride in other words a solution right or a solvent with one gram of drug a it's kind of like saying that you have 0.50 grams of sodium chloride in that solution e value is a method that is used to adjust the tonicity of pharmaceutical solutions in order to make it isotonic with the blood and other bodily fluids so whether it's an IV infusion in a bag a subcutaneous injections solutions meant for intrathecal injections nasal drops and atomic solutions now to get the sodium chloride e value of a substance you will set up the equation just like this where you have the molecular weight of the sodium chloride and the molecular weight of that substance and then you also need the I factor of sodium chloride and that substance and the I I factor is simply the dissociation factor so for example for every sodium chloride that you dissolve in a solution you will have two ions right so the I factor in this case will be two this is something that they usually don't ask you to calculate on the exam so I don't want to focus too much time on this they usually give you the sodium chloride E value of the substance that they want you to calculate so the general approach when you're solving these questions 0.9% of sodium chloride also known as normal saline is isotonic with human blood 0.9 percent is the same as 0.9 grams of sodium chloride for every 100 ml total volume that you have so whenever you have 100 ml if you put in 0.9 grams of sodium chloride you will make it isotonic. If the 100 ml total volume has other substances in there with a tonicity effect, then you wouldn't need 0.9 grams of sodium chloride to make it isotonic, right? You would use the sodium chloride equivalent of that substance so that you will find the amount of sodium chloride that's technically in there and then you will subtract to see how much more do i need to add to make it isotonic so here are some examples of sodium chloride e values now let's jump into some practice questions right away so here we have a prescription that's asking you to make ephedrine sulfate 40 ml and purify water you want to make it isotonic Right, so the question is asking you how many milligrams of sodium chloride is required and the E value is 0.23. The E value is referring to the ephedrine sulfate. So the first thing you always want to do is determine how much, right, how much sodium chloride would you need in this solution if there was nothing else in there. So for a 40 ml solution or total volume, you would need 0.36 grams of sodium chloride to make it isotonic. Simply by following that 0.9% strength which means that for every 100 ml that you have you will need 0.9 grams to make it isotonic so if you solve for 40 you need 0.36 grams next thing you want to do is multiply the sodium chloride equivalent of the ephedrine by the amount of ephedrine that will be in that solution so in this case it's 0.2 grams we multiply it by the e value and we get 0.046 grams so this is how much sodium chloride um, osmolality or tonicity that ephedrine is kind of like contributing. So what you want to do now is subtract, right? You need 0.36 grams of sodium chloride to make 40 ml isotonic, right? But there is other things in that 40 ml. So there's about 0.046 grams of sodium chloride um, that's being contributed by the ephedrine sulfate 
So if you subtract, you get 0 0.314 grams or 314 milligrams, and that will give you an answer of 314 milligrams of sodium chloride is required to make this solution isotonic. Next question. So we have atropine sulfate. So you follow the same procedure. You want to know how much sodium chloride would I need if there was nothing else in this solution? So if there was nothing else in this 30 ml solution, you would need 0 0.27 grams in order to make it isotonic. But wait we have something else in there. We have atropine sulfate, right? 3%. Once again, percent strength means three grams per 100 ml. You solve for 30, you would need 0 0.9 grams of the atropine sulfate in this prescription. Now we multiply that amount by the E value of the atropine sulfate and we get 0 0.117 grams. So this means that that 0 0.9 grams of atropine sulfate in the solution is about 0 0.117 grams of sodium chloride. So once you do the subtraction, you should get 153 milligrams of sodium chloride that is required to make this solution isotonic. Now, keep in mind that you can also adjust the tonicity with other things. So one of the common ones is boric acid. So follow the same steps as in the previous questions, determine the amount of sodium chloride that is required to make the solution isotonic meaning after you subtract whatever the substance in the solution is contributing already whatever you have left right the amount of sodium chloride that you need and then you would divide that number in grams by the e value of boric acid in this case and the answer will be the amount of boric acid required to make the solution isotonic so here we have a question so for this prescription we have zinc sulfate that will be in a 30 ml solution and we want to make it isotonic. So once again, you need 0.27 grams of sodium chloride in a plain 30 ml volume to have an isotonic solution. Now, how much zinc sulfate do we need in this script? So 250 milligrams per 10 ml, we have 30 ml, so we have 750 milligrams in a 30 ml solution or 0 0.750 grams. You multiply by the E value of the zinc sulfate, right? So you want to make sure you don't make the mistake of multiplying it by the E value of the boric acid. This has to be for the zinc sulfate. You multiply, you get 0 0.1125 grams. Now we want to subtract in this case for the 30 ml solution, you get 0 0.1575 grams. And once you divide that by the boric acid E value, you get 0 0.303 grams. So that should be 0 0.303 grams, not 0 0.30. And if you convert that into milligrams, you should get 303 milligrams milligrams of boric acid required to make this solution isotonic. And that will be the end of this video. Um, e values are straightforward. Just try to understand what you're doing instead of just doing the calculations. Once you understand the concept, it's so much easier. If this video was helpful, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share with somebody that could benefit from it. Connect with me on these social media platforms. Thank you for watching this video and take care.